We're testing the Remington Golden Sabre 45 ACP 230 grain brass jacketed hollow point. Test media sim test comparable to ballistic gel. We're adding four layers of denim. Test gun is a Colt 1911 government model 5 inch barrel. The 230 grain Golden Sabre is also available as a bonded version. This is the non bonded, so I want to make that very clear because I think you'll see various test results between the two based on their construction. This is very popular in law enforcement. I think there's a good chance you'll find some reports online regarding usage and specifically ballistic tests, including uh, a lot of good PDFs out there of reports from uh, various law enforcement agency testing labs. It's always good to have that information as a point of reference from those folks using it uh, on the front line. 875 feet per second, advertised velocity. I'm coming in at 860, five shot average on the 5 inch Colt barrel and with regard to this brass jacket I've read that this is a stiffer metal I believe this is an alloy a stiffer metal than say a uh, copper jacketed hollow point which means it's not going to give as much going through the expansion process so we could expect to see a little bit less than average diameter on the gold and saber compared to uh, other rounds other premium rounds with regard to expansion we're going to load this up in the Colt, take a shot from 10 feet into the sim test media, calibrated very close to ballistic gel, four layers of denim. Good location, let's go find it. I'm running out of daylight, so the final segments are going to be indoors here in the TN Outdoors 9. Sportsplex and wiffle ball batting cage. Okay, here is the uh, initial wound cavity. You can see very clearly we start to have the expansion at this point. Have a large cavity here. And then moving in, this is about the four and a half, five inch mark. We have a, a big buildup of denim that carried in. Now I'm going to drop down to the second track. This has a lot more detail. Same cavity. That's uh, more pronounced there. It's about two and a half inches in length. And if I can do this and hold the camera, keep my hand out of the way. Look what's happening here as this is plowing through this media. Those expanded pedals are just cutting this media, and that's exactly what's going to happen in tissue as well. So we plow on along, and there's the prize. We're at 14 inches, the nose of the bullet, which has separated from the jacket. Jacket is still uh, barely attached but not by very much. I want to give you a quick close-up with this uh, manual focus kind of a macro setting here. Again the uh, jackets trying to come off or the leg course trying to escape however you want to look at it but it's still attached it's just very very close to coming out of there but notice I didn't see this until I took it out of the uh, media. I got a little bit of denim fiber there on the edge. But uh, in spite of that, we still had some expansion. I'll get you a diameter and a weight measurement next. Expansion. There's the high end at 0.714. The average is 0.704. With regard to retained weight, 230 grain bullet coming in at 235.3. For the wrap up, I would be happy with that 14 inches of penetration, but you have to wonder how much further it could have gone had the bullet not started to come apart. May have to get our hands on the 230 grain bonded down the road and give it a comparison test. Thanks again for watching.